in today's video, I want to share with you guys my fall nail polish fix for uh, 2021. I do not plan on mentioning, <laughs> let me talk about the ones that I don't, I'm not going to mention, uh, mustard yellows, pumpkin oranges, or berry tone shades, although I love them and I do plan on wearing them. They're currently actually sitting on my fall seasonal rack. If you missed that video, I'll make sure to link it up in the cards, one of the corners here, so you guys can check it out. Because although I do love those shades, I feel like I've... I've mentioned them plenty of times in previous videos and so it can become a little bit redundant and so I just wanted to pull out different colors that maybe I haven't mentioned before. So there are new polishes that I'll be mentioning in here. There's older polishes as well. All But One is not available anymore but the company re-released it under a different name. So what I'm going to do is I'll make sure to link everything down below because I think for the most part, I, I checked everything. You can either find it in store currently or you can find it online. So I'll start off with this purple shimmer that came out in the new Halloween collection from China Glaze. This is, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was going to pull She's So Extraterrestrial, which is the teal holographic. But I'm gonna tell you, this is my favorite out of the entire collection. I have my mind is my made up guys this is so beautiful this is so beautiful i love it so this is a purple shimmer in the collection and it does dry matte uh, and i actually like the natural matte finish of this but i do plan on wearing this with a glossy top coat awesome formula opaque at two coats it is um a slightly warmer in the center but then it has this little blue flash on the outer parts that just cools it down quite a bit and i think it's really beautiful i compared this one to purple with the purpose from opi that one's a little bit lighter and i love that one it's one of my all-time favorite purples uh just in general and this one almost tops that one uh, because it's a little bit deeper and it looks a little bit more just intense on the nails and i freaking love it it's so amazing wild willow from orally all uh, this one came out in the fall collection this year and it's coming off way lighter maybe i should tone down my little light here <laughs> Let's try that. Maybe that'll help it out a little bit. So this is more of a mossy green um, that they released in the collection. A very unique, kind of ugly, pretty type of shade, I think. I have a few ugly pretties in my um, on my fall season or rack, but this is the one that I want to focus on this season because I think the color is amazing. So it has more of a Almost actually all of the polishes within that collection were more like a jelly. They almost had like a jelly-like formulation. This one in particular also has that, um, but it does get opaque at two coats and it looks like a full-on cream. And then this mulberry one from Dior. This one is like a rosy pink, um, but slightly dusty. And I haven't worn this one in a while. The picture of the manicure you're going to see is one that I wore a couple of years ago and I paired this polish up actually with a textured polish from Butter London and I actually have it on my fall season rack as well because I want to recreate that manicure because I thought it was really beautiful. Um, so that one actually dries textured and it's um, golden but it, it also leans a little bit pink and I just thought the pairing of the two was really beautiful. So that's a manicure that I want to recreate. This has a really great formula. It gets opaque at two coats. Sally Hansen makes one that is called Get Down. I just don't know if it's still available um, but it's slightly reminiscent to this one only that that one leans just a little bit more purple and it's a little bit deeper and then I pulled out a gray uh, purpley polish and you know, kind of not taupey um, slightly taupey I guess you can say but more gray and purple this is chinchilla from uh, from Essie and great formula for this one opaque at two coats I actually um, switched out the brush of mine when I swatched it just to make it easier for application since I have like man fingers, <laughs> you know, my nails are whiter. Uh, but I gotta tell you, even with the slimmer brush, this polish was super easy to apply. The formula is just that good. And this is the time of year that I tend to reach for these type, types of colors more than any other time of the year. Really, spring and summer, I rarely pull any type of neutral or nude, but these type of neutrals for me look really make me feel really really cozy and then the teal one and this is the one that's not available anymore this is from opi this is key teal we drop and this is a cream opaque at two coats really awesome formula but opi discontinued this but they did re-release and some of you guys reminded me because i think um 
in my old school fall fall nail polish favorites. I couldn't think of the name of this one. I had mentioned Amazon Amazoff, which is reminiscent, but that one does lean a little bit more green. And some of you guys reminded me that it was a CIA, which stands for color is awesome. So although this one is not available, CIA is a dupe for this one. So I'll make sure to link that one down below. Although great formula, just be mindful with this one because, or even I'm assuming with CIA since they're the same, this one does stain the nail slightly. And uh, I have to be careful with my application because it does tend to stain the skin around my nail if I'm doing any type of cleanup or even when it comes to removal with this one. But I don't ever find that to be a problem because I always use my 100% acetone, pour a little bit of that into my cotton and then add a little bit of the Blue Cross cuticle remover and then just kind of clean up with a cotton swab or, you know, a little cotton cotton round or whatever to remove the staining off of my nails. That's actually a little trick that uh, one of you guys mentioned to me years ago and I still continue to use it. It's such an amazing tip because I don't ever have to struggle with my nails staying blue for like a freaking week. So anyways, really beautiful color. So what I did actually for like three, four days, I wore all of these polishes as a Skittle skittles mani on my nails i especially wanted to do that because i really wanted to test out some of the polishes that i've never worn before so i wanted to see how how long it would take for them to start chipping uh, i think the fourth day came around and they were all all my nails were doing really well uh, so this one here is black cherry from sinful colors it's new to me and never worn it before and this gives me <clears throat> Lubu Heels vibes from China Glaze. Although that one, it has more of a, like a black, I think like a black, almost like a jelly base or something, or like a blackened base, and it has um, micro glitter, like red micro glitter. This is a straight up shimmer, but the look on the nails is almost similar, where it's that blackened, reddish, slightly burgundy, I guess, and it's so freaking pretty. It is darker, so on my nails, it looks like this on the side, and then in certain lights, it captures that little shimmer. I I almost want to bring it up but it lightens up the color so much the base is deeper it's not blackened and it's almost slightly berry but it ends up looking like a dark red on the nails not a berry just like a dark red slightly burgundy i guess i can say moving on to this uh deeper navy blue which is from sally hansen and it's part of their insta dry line this one is called midnight drive and it has, let me get it to where, tilt the bottle there. It has this little fine shimmer that is really not all that visible on the nails. Um, but you can tell that there's something there. It doesn't look like a full on cream, but it almost does, I guess, in a way. But what I love about this is the color. I think it's really beautiful. It actually reminds me of an old uh, Sally Hansen that... I used to wear all the dang time, but it was a lot deeper than this one. And that one also had a little shimmer that wasn't all that visible on the nails either. So that's why I bought this one and it's really, really beautiful. This uh, silvery purple metallic is from China Glaze. This is called Would You Wanna. I haven't worn this in a while. You can still find this on either one of the discounted stores. I can't remember if it was Head to Toe Beauty that I saw it recently or uh, was it Trans Design? I can't remember, but I, I was also able to find it on Amazon. Jumping in here really quick because my description of this polish was not very good. Uh, the true color of this polish is this clip right here of the video clip of the bottle. Um, so this is more silvery purple, but more like on the plummy side of purple and it has a little bit of brown. My pictures are pulling a little bit more brown than it, what it looks like in person. In person, it looks like a plum shimmer, uh, but also taupey and I almost get a little bit of metallic vibes from it as well. I love the tone of this. I love the formula of it. It gets opaque at two coats. Fairly easy removal. The little particles do tend to stick, um... On the skin around the nail so that's a bit annoying but I think it's great and I'm very much into um, silvery type of metallic looking polishes on the nail whenever I pull for a black for this time of year I want a black that has a little sparkle in it 
Storm from Zoya is a great option to pull out this season. Um, but I pulled this one out that I have not worn in at least a couple of years, I want to say. And it's Nightbreed from NARS. I think they still have this one available in their line. And this one has a black jelly base and silver metallic gl glitters that slightly hint, but like this, the slightest amount of blue. And it's really, really pretty. You see the little sparkles on the nails. Removal is a little bit tricky because it is a glitter, so it does stick to the nail. But a great formula, opaque at two coats. But um, this is also a great option. This is kind of like an honorable mention uh, to this one. This is from Orly, and it's called In the Moonlight. And In the Moonlight ha also has a black jelly base, and it also has silver metallic glitters. But they're larger and they also lean a little bit more blue than night breeze. and if anything this one sparkles on the nails a little bit more these two polishes are great not only for this time of the year but also for um like to take well into the winter time they're really beautiful i didn't pull this one and it's not sitting on my fall season rack because i wore it earlier in the year i think this one came out just this past winter so I wanted to give it a break and I wanted to focus on Nightbreed. The one that I actually have on my nails right now is so freaking beautiful. This is from Orly and it's called Bronze Ambition and this is a part of their breathable line. Um, I haven't really looked into the line but I'm going to assume that because it says breathable it's one of those polishes that's better or healthier for your nails or what have you. So this is a shimmer uh, almost like metallic-y looking on the nails. It can be a little brush strokey, so I do have to keep my brush straight when applying it, but once it settles down and it fully dries, I don't see the brush strokes anymore. And it has a super awesome formula. This got opaque for me at one coat. I'm not usually a bronze <sighs> polish type of person. Uh, I'm very selective because a lot of the times I find that bronze and copper type of polishes almost blend too close to my skin and so there's not this distinct difference on my nails and I want if I'm gonna put a color on I want to see it on my nails which is why I don't wear a lot of nudes and why I don't wear a lot of neutrals I mean aside from this one because it straight up looks great on my nails I want to see visible color on my nails I see visible color on my nails with this polish because it's very red tone it has a lot of red it is so beautiful I love it it's on my nails right now and I have a little gold topper. It's so pretty. From afar, like it, it almost looks orange, but this is what it looks like in person. That very burnt, rusty color. I never thought I would be into colors like this, actually. I never was for a really long time. Um, but tastes are changing, guys. <laughs> And it's just beautiful. And my plan for this one was to, uh, and what I did for, for this manicure, is paired it up with Nina Ultra Pro. This is a flake, gold flaky topper. It's called Gold Flake Top Coat. <laughs> oh. And today I actually filled it up a little bit more with my suspension base because it was getting a little bit low. And I also wanted to get a, a little bit more of a sparse look on the nails because although this is labeled as a topper it loads up at first application and i want it a little bit more of a sparse look because before even dry brushing it was a bit uh a bit of a struggle in getting the particles to spread out enough for me to where it just doesn't look like i applied a blob of gold um glitter on my nails or anything like that so freaking beautiful this is a very warm flaky topper and you can see down here a little bit of the reddy tones the base is almost slightly reddish pink will it capture that i don't know if it will i think this is what is possibly considered like a glass fleck um, because it just sparkles a little bit more when it comes to removal though this is also the type kind of like would you wanna the little particles tend to stick to the skin terribly so cleanup can be a bit annoying removal can also be a bit annoying but it's worth it it's so pretty and an honorable mention here because i want to do this manicure next i actually have three honorable mentions i want to apply uh viking in a winter wonderland this is a deep 
purple but not quite blackened this is a type of dark purple that always looks purple on the nails no matter the lighting it looks dark but it still visibly looks purple and it has a great formula a couple of coats for this one i was debating on the manicure i was going to wear today whether this one or this one i was thinking of doing this flaky topper over this one and doing the same little gradient little shimmer glitter effect at the base of the nail because i think this would look really beautiful too if for some reason you can't find this one any gold glitter topper i think is amazing for this time you can utilize them and just kind of apply them to varying uh, polishes that you've selected to wear this year just to kind of amp up the manicure right so I brought this one out these are not on my fall season rack and I'm not going to be focusing on them this fall season but I wanted to mention them as alternatives untouchable decadence is a gold um, glitter from orally and this is just straight up gold metallic with this one though it does get opaque on its own at three coats I have to remove a lot of the um, glitters off the brush if i want to get a sparing look like i did with this one when you apply one coat over top of a polish it loads up a lot on the glitter with this one that's the beauty of this one so you know i can dry brush or get it a pick on its own which is great this one I also love this is I like this one even more than I like this one I mean I love a straight-up gold glitter anytime really but I love this one more because it looks more dimensional on the nails and the reason for that is because this one is made up of gold and pink metallic glitters and this one is called inexhaustible charm it's so beautiful <laughs> On its own, this one also gets opaque at three coats. But you know, any of these, I think, to dry brush, if you bought them from the, uh, did these come out in the same collection? I think the winter collection. Um, any of these, I think, will look amazing. Alrighty, I think that is everything, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and inspirational. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.